Hey guys, I just woke up this morning and felt like doing a vlog, so guess what? You guys are getting a vlog today. Uh, for the record, I am driving, but uh, I went and bought one of those Ram Mount pods, so I'm not holding the phone, so I can't get like all the bad comments about me recording whilst driving and stuff like that anymore. And actually, just a point on that, I gotta thank the, the community here, because as I think I'm getting a little bit more popular, all the trolls are coming out at the same time and the community has like, like jumped into on the comments and like really defended me which is I just want to thank you for that but it's a bit of an exciting day coming up um, it's Thursday it's 7 17 in the morning um, heading to the yard to um, get some pallets de delivered that's not very exciting but we've got a photography day today so new products being photo uh, photographed um, couple of other bits and pieces got to stop into Lawson's and um, dispatch night so I don't know maybe it's exciting maybe it's boring but um, I'm gonna take you on the journey and just talk to camera along the way last time I spoke to you the uh, dash warehouse was uh, quite bare now it's chockers we're still getting um, all the lighting set up so we've done bits of it but still getting the rest done but yeah now there's I'll turn this around. Now we're looking pretty good. Um, heaps of, uh, yeah, they're the TJM recovery points, air compressors, stacks of snorkels here. Man, the amount of times I get asked, does a Safari snorkel fit a Series 5? The answer is yes. Uh, if you ring Safari and ask them whether it fits a Series 5, they'll say no, because they've never done it. We've done it heaps of times. So yes, Safari snorkels fit Series 5. It's exactly the same. Uh, I can't really show you all the other stuff because it's too dark and it's all... <laughs> we've just got too much stuff around the place. I'll show you down the other end though. So this is... Uh, where we go down here? I've got to go open up. Hang on. All right, walking around. This is our other 20 we've got here. All the roof rack ladders are in. Talk about them a bit because we brought them out and we started fitting them to the series one to fours they work well finally got <laughs> we sold out to the point where i couldn't even get one for my car so they're now in i bolted it to my car and i gotta say i'm not over the moon with it i still need to do some reinforcing or something on the um the inside of the uh, uh the tailgate because i'll show you what i mean like it looks cool but there's not as much support here like on this area it's just very weak like you can press it with your hand and if you were to actually step on this like it's going to rub up there so series one to four is okay series five at the moment no i'm afraid to say um so if you have ordered one we'll get in touch and just see if you still want to go ahead or not but i'll show you what else is happening around here because we got the shipment of series five bars um, last week there's about a hundred of them I think I've shipped out half now and I'm just sort of getting to it so if you've got one of them on order it's, it's coming this is what the other 40s are doing at the moment so <laughs> starting to empty stuff out um, been wiring all up lighting so we can work at nights these are all the WA ones that are about to go out by the way they're, they're next in line um, but yeah all of them are predator bars all sold I'm afraid so but we've got more coming um, in May and then more in June but yeah all this lighting got all done last week by Byford services uh, still got to do that side but that's just so we can work through this um, a bit better through winter and I think we're gonna put in like a diesel heater maybe into the office or something too because I remember like when we started this a year 18 months ago and we worked through winter it was freezing uh, so this year we're going to have a bit more luxury. We've got light and we're going to have heating and cooling. What a evolution. It's like a maze of predator bars. Oh. Well, there's a couple of things to talk about here. So these are a prototype MP300 bash plates and we've given them a bit of a hiding. We're going to make some changes here for the oil filler. Um, and actually we're going to make some changes for the oil um, drain plug hole on the Y62 ones too and <laughs> that's damage freight we, we're sorting out the damage freight we're on our fourth freight company 
So we can't just keep dumping freight companies and going to the next one. So we're actually working with this freight company, Direct Freight, to see how we can improve the um, quality of freight being delivered, um, getting custom pallets made, uh, wrapping our pallets when they go out, like this one, and um, we're improving things on the freight side of our business. Um, <laughs> Here's some of the last coils left in Australia, I think. So, yeah, I think they're the light, uh, only one left of the mediums and a few of the heavy ones left there. So, like in this world of COVID, like stock is king. We've just tried to like secure every piece of stock we can find for anything that you can bolt to or Y62, to be honest. Um, whether it be Kmart bars, Razzler bars, uh, Predator bars, uh, I can't believe the timing of stuff at the moment to get things built. Um, and it doesn't matter what company you deal with, everyone's out of stock. Um, compressors, I can't get my hands on single compressors at the moment. Uh, it's just a real challenging time in the four-wheel drive industry for parts and probably frustrating for you guys too, I'm sure, because you just want your stuff now and you keep getting, um, you know, whoever you're ordering through, ringing up saying, sorry, there's been a delay. So. Um, we're trying to mitigate that best as possible by just holding as much as possible. That's the plan anyway. Ah, and back here is Navarra bars, the Chrome Stealth bars. A few pallets of them. There's another sneaky reef rack. Can't really tell you too much about that yet. Um, what else is back here? Oh, lights. <laughs> A place to store your bush barriers. Alright. Waiting for this delivery now and get, get moving. Just opening up all the boxes of the deliveries here. Got some airbag man stuff we're going to start to do. Um, and look, my diesel heaters arrived. I was just talking about them. The next box I opened and it was there. So this is what I'm thinking. So maybe I'll zoom out so you can sort of see everything. Oh, I need to finish painting there. Anyway, I keep buying this is like the fourth diesel heater I've bought, not because they keep breaking, because I buy them um, and they just keep working and I put one in my van, put one in a friend's van and then I've bought another two. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to mount this on this sort of area of the container and have the intake and <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, probably have to have the pipe come down for the vent out, up for the vent in or something like that and then have the diesel tank on the outside of the room here. Um, and then do basically the same thing at um, 4x4 DNA in that yard too. Um, I think I'm obsessed with like sort of this odd grid thing because all of these containers are running off grid and I'm going next level on the office at DNA. I'll go and show you well, after the, I ordered pallets, custom pallets to arrive this morning at 7.30. We're waiting half an hour. It's a busy day so I hope he gets here soon otherwise I'm just going to have to go but um, I'm going to drop some stock off to 4x4 DNA. I'll show you where we're up to with that because that's progressing along too. Old Port Wakefield Road. 
全然問題So this is what we do. This is how we try and get a look. So, you know, everyone has images that they just steal for products. We try and, you know, we're trying to be the camera man here. We try and get a, a look where we take a photo like that. So even if, even if the dash off road sticker wasn't there, you'd still kind of know that it was a dash off road photo or product. And that's what it ends up looking like on screen. 
through a real camera. But that's why we go to the effort to try and photograph all, even though there's plenty of stock photographs out there of monkey fists, um, but we, this is the new one by the way, but we wanted to know that people, it, they can get this from Dash Off Road and we, all our photos have that, you know, the, the sand and the background and the wood and that sort of thing. That's why we do it to sort of um, make it about the brand and the product, not just the product. Now this can be the challenging part, getting the little, getting brackets, like they're brackets for the um, uh, false floor. How do you make them sexy? So, and get the light just right. We'll see, we'll see how good Anita is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's how you make them sexy. How do you make brackets sexy? Add beer. <laughs> All right, so go have a look at this product. This is the DCS 80 Extreme cranking battery uh, on our website now. And you'll see that's the one I quickly did with my iPhone on the back lawn. Just then, even if you look at the side of the battery on that photo, you can see the reflection of my lawn in the, in the photo. So we're trying to get a bit more professional here and by going to that studio environment and get really clean shots. And when you see them side by side, you can really tell it's worth doing this properly. Here we go. Photo shoot is a wrap. So we'll get those um, new images updated and the new products will go on the website very soon. But now it's back to um, a bit of Groundhog Day. I'm gonna go dispatch some more bars. <laughs> All right, just rocked up at um, DNA or Steve Allen's. And I know I bought Steve a present. Um, I know it's rocked up already. He's coming away to Love Day uh, on Friday, I bet he's itching to put it on. So I'm gonna walk in and see what's going on. Okay, back here again. Oh, I see him. He loves it when I just rocks up and puts a camera in his face. There they are, working on it. Hey, boys. <laughs> he's done it. Look at that. Holy moly. How good does that look? You happy? No. no. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, that's our first like big branding in DNA. I'm pretty happy too. What a full on but awesome day. But it hasn't finished yet. It's about quarter past five. Uh, Peter Stillman's just about to rock up. And then we're gonna try and get as many of these S5 bars out this week, because I need to clear some space in here. Uh, all right, let's, uh, all these, <laughs> there you go. Anyone in Gladstone, they're all going to you. And I'm gonna go get some more out too. All right, and then the last part of the day is basically um, dropping off all the stuff for DNA for next week. We do this every Thursday night, so I'll just stop in and see Steve. It's about 10 to eight. He's still here, he's still working. I swear he doesn't have a home, to be honest. But um, that's basically a bit of a day in the life of uh, David Dash. So um, I'm not gonna do these all the time because it'll be boring, but it's kind of what I do these days. Um, it's pretty fun, so I'm happy to share it with you. All right, last video I said, next time you see me on YouTube, it'll be at Love Day. And I'm sorry, I decided to do this one. But uh, uh, next time you see me <laughs> on YouTube, I'll be at Love Day. So cheers, see you at Love Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>